Hey everyone, it's Willow, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Okami HD. Oh, it's nighttime. Well, last time we fought the Spider Queen and successfully defeated her, rescuing Ume, and we went on a river ride with Susano and Kokari and Ume, and uh, now we are going to explore Taka Pass. Let's talk to these guys. Key Master. Oh, what's going to become of me now? That confounded cursed zone is causing all sorts of trouble. And my most precious tool of the trade has gone missing, too. I just don't know how I'm going to make a living anymore. Uh-oh. No doubt this is the work of those mischievous moles. I bet they're the ones who stole from me. And on top of that, I have to put up with that awful cursed zone. Goodness. Customer. I wonder what's become of Kusa Village now. Kusa Village? It's up on Mount Kamiji, where the big windmill is. I heard some terrifying growls coming from the shrine there. Terrifying growls? And I ran down the mountain as fast as my legs would carry me. Then I realized that this area was all cursed too. I never imagined that monsters would come anywhere near us. It looks like the end of the world is finally here. Oh no, don't say that, dude. Don't lose hope. I wonder what's become of Kusa Village up on Mount Kamiji. There were some terrifying growls coming- You- you just repeated this. And this area is all cursed too. You, I only had one little errand to run in Kusa, but now I can't even get past the city checkpoint to go home. Oh. There's a shopkeeper, but I don't think we need to see him yet. Just go right into- um, Taka Pass. Oh, actually. I did, uh... Not, not while I was recording, but I got the Peace Bell, which uh, emits a holy tone that keeps demon scrolls at bay. Just so it wouldn't be as annoying to get <laughs> hit by the scroll and have to attack enemies constantly. And I'm also playing on a uh, wired controller... Because my uh, normal. What the? My normal Switch controllers were low on battery and I didn't think to charge them ahead of time. <laughs> Silly me. This looks interesting. I love the fire animation from those lanterns. Uh. It's been a while since I've recorded the last episode, so of course I'm enchanted by the art style again. Bark! The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. Waka! They summon me forth to defeat evil. Oh no, are we gonna have to fight him again? What an entrance. Waka, the god's gift to man is here. Bonjour! You again! <laughs> Long time no see. Did you enjoy the little log adventure I prophesied? Oh man. Why, you? Were you behind that near disaster? Oi? Of course not. I just had a fleeting glimpse of your future. You see, I have the power to see that which is yet to come. Even if it were something you'd rather not know. <laughs> that half-baked prophet's at it again. If you're so great, then how come you didn't predict Orochi's return? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Oh. Excuse me? Did you say something, my little bouncing friend? That's it! By the way, I saw your battle with that spider lady. A rather clumsy attempt, I must say. Excuse me? How could a washed up old wolf like you possibly? 
expect to save the world? Ridiculous. What do you mean? What? You were spying our, on our battle? And you didn't help? And it never crossed your mind that you could help out? Huh. Enough talk. There's only one way to settle this. A duel. Just go for it. Okay. Battling him again. We gotta keep our distance. Oh yeah, and we gotta... That, miss that. It's gonna be so hard trying to draw with this controller. Because it goes kind of slow. <laughs> Good thing it's not like a timed thing. Attack him! Wait. There's a way to use ink bullets because of the devout beads. I kind of forgot how. That's alright, we'll just attack him with Snarling Beast. What? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Throw your sword at me. Slash it back. Attack. Man, that does little damage just attacking him. Like, with Snarling Beast. Power slash him. There we go, that does more. Oh, I wonder if this will work. With the sword being so close to him. Yep, I did it. And I keep dodging backwards. <laughs> This is a, this is gonna be terrible time for this fight and probably bad damage too. All right, power slash him, and then get one some quick slashes in. I am. Oh, come on! Oh my gosh, just one sliver of health. We did it. <sighs> not bad, Mashari. You're out of breath, dude. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath. What do you want anyway? Oh, I almost forgot. I had a question for you. Have you been to Lake Harami over on Shinshu Field yet? In the middle stands the moon cave where Orochi's spirit was trapped. A barrier has blocked the entrance ever since Tsukuyomi was removed. That means Orochi must still be in there. Oh, so he's trapped. I want to get through the barrier to enter the cave. Why would you do that? But I'll need the serpent crystal in order to do that. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it, would you? Uh... Why'd you have to pull out your sword just to ask that? Right? And why'd you want to visit Orochi's lair anyway? Well, me and Isun are on the save, like, mindset. <laughs> so then you do not know? Res bien. Hmm. So that big windmill... At any rate, I'll just have to find it myself. But before I bid you adieu, I have a prophecy for you. Or is it this time? I foresee a doggone difficult quest. Oh my gosh. Au revoir, baby. Goodbye. Hey, Ami. Let's try and beat that Waka to that Serpent Crystal. I can't help feeling he's up to no good. 
Plus, we just might find a new celestial brush technique, too. Sounds good, you soon. Yeah, time was awful. Alright. Whoa. Where we came from? Let's head up here. And the divine instrument that Ami has right now, Snarling Beast, so cool looking. Oh, a burning chest. Then we can do about that right now. Another one. Wait. The Agata Forest is over there. That. Sasa Sanctuary? Wait, let's head up here. Oh, there's the guardian sapling. Bloom these. Do anything. You think it'd be easier to draw circles with a uh, normal wired controller, but sometimes it's a little harder. One praise out of that? Well, I guess it's. These trees are very popular, so. One praise. Alright. Let's restore Taka Pass. And build this bridge. Should work. Alright. Oh, what do you know? It's daytime. Perfect. Alright. That animation never gets old. Yeah. Parker Pass is back to normal now. Without the curse zone, it'll be easier to find brush techniques. But first, that big windmill has really piqued my interest. Didn't that half-baked prophet mumble something about it? Uh, whatever. It's not going anywhere anyhow. Let's take a good look around Taka Pass, okay? I'm a bit worried about the people who live around here. Me too, Isun. Whee! Ooh, a demon gate. Slash him. Get this guy in the air. Ow! Let go of me! Let go! You too. No hugs allowed. I like my personal space. Oh wait, I guess I have to wait. There we go. Yeah, it's like, now you do the brush technique. Get him on me. Oh, can we do Bloom? Get a demon fang out of him? Nope. Beat him up too fast. I regained my honor by beating those enemies quickly. Fifteen praise. 
See any animals around? No? Okay. What's this? Oh wait, that's where we came from. I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I have ADD and it shows <laughs> sometimes. I get so distracted. Hey, hey, hey! Stop right there! How dare you walk around our turf without permission? I won't let you get away with it. I'm Molly of the Molsters. Molsters? Molster leader Molly. All of the territory beneath Taka Pass is under our control. We can't just allow people to come wandering in as they please. How are we supposed to relax with intruders like you around? I'll have to get... I'll have to get you to leave some of that behind to make up for it. Jeez, oh, I could not read that. You know what I mean. That gold color thing used in shops. Huh? Oh, I get it. You're just a pack of thieves extorting money. Well, pigs will fly before you shake us down. We should teach you a lesson. <laughs> you got some nerve. Fine. If that's the way you want it, you'll regret this. Come on, men. Or shouldn't he have said moles? Come on, moles. Molsters, the special dust cloud formation. Uh oh. I think if I just. <laughs> Little moly. Erg, we won't let you at the boss. You got me! I think if you just wait, yeah. Er, we won't let you at the boss. Let's see. At some point, I think they'll. Nope. Alright, you gotta watch him. Oh, here we go. No. Oh uh, boy, okay. Should have gotten him that time. Nope. Oh! Yeah! Er. It'll take a lot more than that to hurt me. You wanna fight? Let's fight properly. Whoa! Okay. Got him. Brr. Trying to pick a fight, are you? And try this one on for size. You're not even fighting. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Brr. I don't understand it. How do you manage to stand up to our special dust cloud trick? <laughs> Had enough of hard-headed army? That'll teach ya. Don't mess with the gods, fur face. Crime doesn't pay. Remember that. I expect you guys to stay on the straight and narrow now. You do know the difference between right and wrong. It's just that, well, I was lonely. No matter how long I wait down here, no one comes to see me. That's why I behaved the way I did. I just wanted to get your attention. That's all. Please, white doggy, will you be my friend? I promise I'll behave myself from now on. Honest. You're just what I needed, doggy. If you stay, then I won't have to be lonely anymore. Um, this is just getting strange by the minute. I know I shouldn't show my feelings like this. I'll go back underground now and shed my tears in private. I suppose it's goodbye, then. Come back and visit soon, won't you, doggy? Yay! Alright. We got a teacup? Something like that. 
Let's go visit the tea master. Run on me! Sir, I have your item. There was an awful cursed zone here before, but it's all but it's gone now. I don't know what kind of accent I'm trying to make. <laughs> it should be business as usual again. But those mischievous moles took my most precious of belongings. I can't possibly get on with any work without it. Hey! That's my precious teacup, isn't it? Did you snatch it back from those meddlesome moles for me? Meddlesome moles. <laughs> you offered teacup. Thank you! This is my good luck charm for doing good business. Well, one good deed deserves another. Here. You obtain golden mushroom. Ooh. What do you think? It's pretty impressive, eh? A customer of mine gave it to me as payment a while back. It's got such a divine air, I had no idea what to do with it. It's yours now anyway, pooch. Do with it what you will. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy soon. Alright. Now that we've talked to the moles, let's head on to the next portion. Let's go check out this house over here. Whoa! Almost ran over a boar. Ooh. Oh. Not good. Mrs. Cutter! Ha! Probably just spiked the mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. You'll do nicely, little mutt. Ooh. The horrible Mrs. Cutter. You should keep us going until my husband catches us a big beast. Ah! Get away from me, lady. E. Let's see, can I get up here? Oh, soon's trying to tell me something. What a dilapidated old house. Its rotted pillars are collapsing. I bet we can get on top of the house by climbing up this one. Okay. Good to know, Isun. Oh. Can we blow this up? I'm not going to ask Isun. He's probably going to tell me exactly what I'm thinking. It's... Every... What? That is not where I... Well, it still worked. Oh, that's not good. What a wreck. The sun's shining through a hole in the roof. It's one big hole. I bet you could even see the moon through it at night. But this is no place to be talking about gazing at the moon. I guess we will be back here at night. Intent. What are you doing hanging around here again, mutt? I won't let you get away so easily this time. Run! She's crazy! Alright. He will be back there later. I heard a doggy. Doggy? Booch? Where are you? Don't know. Kusa Village. Alright. Actually, <laughs> actually, we're gonna defeat this demon gate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sidetracked again. Just get used to it. Let it be a familiar thing to know that Willow gets distracted all the time. I'm like, ooh, shiny object. <laughs> well, at least this is still kind of entertaining, right? Yeah, defeating monsters. Sure it is. 
Oh. <laughs> I do not like this enemy. <laughs> At least he's a little quicker to beat now that we have a stronger instrument. Woo! Oh. Well, see, we had to do, we had to take that demon gate get down. What? <laughs> Can't talk. Mermaid Spring. See that light? This is a special place known as a mermaid spring. Eastern. There's a wonderful legend about beautiful mermaids appearing here. They say that they say there are other mermaid springs throughout the land. You should visit them whenever wherever they may be. Alright. Let's talk to this person. Spring girl. It's so wonderful that the mermaid spring has come back to life. Maybe it's thanks to the legendary power d powers of the mermaids. Have you heard the story? This spring's like a path for them. Sometimes they come up from the bottom of the ocean. There are other springs just like this all across Nippon. The mermaids come up to the ground to visit their favorite places. See? Part of the water's surface is shining faintly. If you throw a mermaid coin in there, the path will open up. Oh. That's cool. Alright. Let's head up to Kusa Village. This time, I won't get distracted. We're on the path. It's a demon scroll, but he won't bother us because I have the peace spell. Oh, Jesus. A steep path. Gosh, this is a long pathway. Ooh. That doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Well, guys, actually, I'm gonna end it here. The video's getting a little long, and I don't want it to hit 30 minutes, which it might. So, we did a little bit. Restored Taka Pass, fought Waka, met the horrible Mrs. Cutter. So next time, we're going to enter Kusa Village and find out what's making that strange noise. And looking so down and dreary. See you guys next time. Bye!